three centuries under Spanish rule has given us a common history. But aside from our obvious links, Spain and the Philippines also share a common aviation heritage. In this adventure, we celebrate the ties that bind our two cultures while retracing the history of flight through pioneering Spanish and Filipino aviators. to Madrid, only a few hours away from the emerging aviation hub of Istanbul. Madrid's elegant boulevards welcome you to the geographic center of the Iberian Peninsula. Madrid is a lively city and its avenues are bursting to the seams with tourists and fun-loving Madrileños. Its tight streets open up into an expansive square the historic Plaza Mayor. The symmetrical architecture, painted facades, and rows of restaurants make it an enjoyable place to visit, especially on a hot afternoon. One of the famous gates leading into Madrid's walls is the Puerta del Sol, so named for its eastern orientation facing the sunrise. This marks kilometer zero in the radial network of Spanish roads. In the Philippines, kilometer zero is where our National Heroes Monument stands. But we are still in Madrid, and this identical monument can be found at the Avenida de Filipinas, a busy intersection in the middle of the city. Our national hero, Jose Rizal, enjoyed his time here in Madrid, studying both art and medicine at the city's finest universities. His final poem, Mi Ultimo Adios, is shown both in Spanish and in Filipino. Rizal's brilliance and heroism is honored even here, at the heart of the country he fought against. Madrid has long been considered a culinary capital, and it was great to find familiar flavors everywhere I looked. Housed in this iron building built in 1916, the typical grocery market was transformed into a culinary destination, a place to sample Spanish favorites. But what is considered typically madrileño is the churros con chocolate, something not entirely foreign to the Filipino palate. I visit the iconic Chocolateria San Ginés, one of Madrid's oldest establishments. Churros is my favorite at home, yeah. but what makes your churros special? Maybe the flour, maybe the chocolate, maybe the salt, and the touch of the uh, cooker. <laughs> So that's probably the secret. Should I try the churros first? It's okay. Wow. I can stay here all day and eat this. <laughs> mm. Perfect. It's not like any churros that I have tried, but the, the, the chocolate also is very good. Yes. It's uh, not very sweet. No, the, the chocolate is more uh, rich. Yeah. You know, I like the salty flavor of the churros and the combination with the sweet chocolate is good. Yeah. If you want, uh, I can show you how we made the chocolate and the churros. Really? Yeah, yeah I'd love to. Okay. Okay. Let's go. 
Antonio lets me in into their kitchen where the process of making churros has remained mostly unchanged for more than a century. The best thing is that they are open 24-7, ready to serve freshly baked churros for any late night cravings. After the break, I visit fellow pilots in Madrid and discover a wealth of aviation history.